Yeah, we're back here again. <coughs> Trespassing again. <coughs> Shay talks about having stolen Rick Wash's scale, whatever that is. Shay breaks into the tower and then proceeds to assault and batter Trace and Albert. Shade here admits to having killed everyone who was fighting at the base of the tower. Since we don't know how many were fighting, I'll just mark it on his mass and give him a death sentence. Shade attempted to kill the three in the tower, destroying the tower in the process, as well as absorb the orb of life. It's implied here that Shade follows Peter around during his time in the city before he ran away without his knowledge. Shade here talks about a plan he had to get rid of Spee, which involved getting Sylvia in danger, rescuing her, and then leaving Speed to die. This is getting charged with reckless endangerment for Sylvia and gross negligence for Speed. Obtaining the power Shade got from the battlefield doesn't seem to have been intentional, so I won't charge him for that. I will have her charge him for obtaining an enhancement serum. The mass killing of Category 3 Berserkers is a little more tricky though, since it'd be perfectly legal to kill them as their public danger. But since Shade did it with intent to make himself more powerful, I'll still charge him. Shade also admits to stealing a light orb here. Shade here attempts to kill Flare. Since he's been planning to, it's attempt of murder in the first degree. Shade here teleports Speed, Flare, and Albert with him. This can't really be considered kidnapping since they can just leave whatever they want to. He did still teleport them with them without their consent though, and while that's not possible in the real world, it would be illegal if it was. Shade just killed all those troops and ends up killing the upcoming ones as well. So throughout Shade's entire appearance in the comic, he's been taking steps in his plan to kill all Pokemon. This will easily get him charged with attempted genocide and get him a death sentence. CC entered a magnet gate and ended up on the island. This will likely get her charged with improper entry if the police was to ever find out. <laughs> CC cannot be held responsible for any of the crimes committed during this scene, since it's her Berserker virus that's in control here. 